Hi, this is Lauren Lofsky here. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe in this new abnormal. Hopefully things will improve soon. Um, I'd like to say a few uh, words uh, in tribute to Sonny Greenwich, the great Canadian jazz guitar player, consummate master, artist. Um, I guess I first became aware of Sonny's music around 1973, give or take. And when I was just getting into jazz, I would frequent places like George's Spaghetti House. Uh, a, uh, I think a vegetarian restaurant that was ironically called Meat and Potatoes. And uh, I used to go and hear him quite often. And uh, I was uh, totally knocked out with his playing, the, the conception, the sound that he got, which was so different from anybody else at the time, quite revolutionary. And uh, I remember one time hearing him at George's, and I think the set started off with a tune called The World is Filled with Beautiful Things. And there was a, an introduction that went on for, oh God, it seemed like almost 10 minutes of this sort of free form playing that was just, just exquisite, very sort of a, very exploratory, like cutting edge sound. The intensity was very, very strong, and uh, and eventually a melody was played, very simple melody, and then there was a, and then they started improvising on it, and that went on for about twenty minutes or so, and it, the energy level just kept building and building and building, and uh, it was like, it was like a one chord, vamp that they were playing on, and Sonny was giving this dissertation on how to play creatively on one chord and he was playing in and out of the harmony in such a such an incredible way it was really sort of like a master class in how to uh, how to elicit beautiful melodies on a one chord structure and I had really never heard much of that before so to me it was very very enlightening and um, uh, just you know incredibly impressive Anyway, after that tune was over and they reattached the roof to George's Spaghetti House because it seemed like the roof was about to blow off when they played, um, he launched into a tune completely different. It was, uh, if I recall, it was My Sherry Amour by Stevie Wonder, you know, a pop tune. And the way he played it was absolutely beautiful. Um, when Any time that Sonny played a melody, he, he really, he, uh, he made it sound like he actually wrote the song. Um, the, uh, the interpretation was beautiful. It was very melodic, soulful. Uh, and, and again, he played very, uh, you know, lyrically on it, very inventively. And um, uh, it was, uh, it was just, it was incredible. I mean, I had never heard that kind of conception on the guitar before. Uh, and again, I was just getting into jazz, so at the time, to me, it was just, it was otherworldly. It was just uh, from another place altogether. And um, w one of the things I really admired about Sonny was, uh, well, there's, there's many things which I will get into, but uh, one of the things was his a very eclectic choice of material that he decided to play. As I just said, he played something that was modal, reminiscent of a John Coltrane thing to open up the set. And then he sort of completely switched gears and then went into something, you know, very different, uh, different genre, uh, but equally intense in its own way. It was just in a more understated fashion. And he had this ability to, to, to bring to life in a very special way anything that he played, whether it was, like I said, a pop tune. Uh, some of the other tunes that uh, I re recall him hearing were like standard uh, jazz ballads like Easy to Remember, My One and Only Love, Emily. Um, and I also recall him playing an old, very old pop tune that I remember, I think when I was a teenager, called You Are My Special Angel. And uh, so again, it was such a wide cross-section of material that, that, he, uh, that he played. And he made it all sound like, like his own. He put his own personal stamp on it. And um, one, one of the ways that he did that, I think, was through the sound that he was able to extract from his guitar and his amplifier. He obviously heard that conception and that's the sound he was going for. But the sound was more akin to uh, to a saxophone. Uh, 
And I know a, a lot of people would say, well, Sonny Greenwich, you know, is, was, is the John Coltrane of the guitar, but uh, for my money, he is the Sonny Greenwich of the guitar. He's, he's had influences just like we've all had influences, and <clears throat> he, he was able to sort of take those influences and twist and turn them uh, around so that they, they actually became part of his identity, something very unique. Uh, that uh, nobody else ever did before on the guitar and, and for my money hasn't done since and will never be able to do uh, because it's a very unique sound and conception that uh, that he's achieved and um, it's uh, it's it's refreshing a another thing that I really admire about uh, Sonny is that I guess probably in the very late 70s and then into the early 80s, uh, there was quite a heavy sort of what we would call a fusion movement in jazz, and a lot of guitar players would um, look for different sounds uh, to get away from sort of the standard electric guitar sound. Uh, things like that were happening earlier too, of course, with Jimi Hendrix and the rock world and all that. But when the fusion thing took hold, things kind of got a little bit over the top and guitar players were starting to plug their uh, instruments into food blenders and all sorts of strange things to try and get different sounds. I'm being facetious here, but um, but Sonny never really did that. Sonny just tried to get as pure a sound based on his conception. And um, and he wasn't swayed by fads, you know. Uh, he, he didn't go commercial. He, he didn't put out, uh, you know, albums where he would play you know, pop tunes with a with a, a, a rock rhythm section playing behind him and things like that. And any time when he did anything that was sort of of a uh, of an even eighth or more, uh, uh, not really rock, but but something other than con the convention uh, conventional jazz direction, it it still just sounded like Sonny Greenwich playing his music. Uh, and um, I'm certainly I'm so thankful that I I had a chance to actually go hear him in person many times and really pick up on the energy and uh, and uh, and witness mastery at work live and it, it was an incredible set of experiences and uh, yeah so uh, Sonny is a national treasure he's a world treasure as far as I'm concerned in the jazz world and um, uh, a very uh, this this reward is very well deserved and uh, and Sonny, I, I wish you all the best and thank you for so many years of uh, inspiration and improvisation. Take care, all the best, bye.